I'm back with the $267 budget uh, Crossman converted 2240 to PCP HPA. Uh, the only, I've done some something different to this, added $40 to it, and it was well worth it. It's the steel breech. I took that uh, plastic breech off. Um, it just felt too chintzy. And uh, this really, really made it feel better, but it also seems to have increased the power a bit. Uh, I did two things, so changing that and changing the uh, port, the transfer port. So I'm using a piece of uh, Delron, I guess you call this Delron, or poly, hold on, I have it right here. So this tubing <laughs> purchased from Amazon it is a quarter inch outer diameter, which is a little smaller than the uh, transfer port hole in both the breech and the tube. So all I did was use little black masking, to, um, electrical tape, cut it to the same length, wrapped it around once, and that kept it from jiggling around in the transfer port. And it seems to have added a few feet per second. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna shoot it through the crani, let you see what it looks like. I'm gonna try a bunch of different pellets. Um, I always do this with the guns. The Crossman, we're gonna try the Crossman first. Those are the 14.3. The JSB Exact, uh, 18. The, going the heaviest, the Eugen. These are 28 and a half grain. These are really large. The JSB Exact uh, Jumbo Monster, 25 uh, grain, 25.4 grain. The Barracuda Match, 21, these are 21.14 grain. And just for the heck of it, the 12.65 grain bar H&N um, hollow point. These are really lightweight. I never use these, but for testing, it's interesting. All right, so let's take it through. Uh, one other thing, the power adjuster. With the spring that I have in here, which is the .38 wire gauge spring, two inches, I believe, long, uh, I have to back it out all the way to get the best. It gives it the maximum power. So pushing it in actually wastes air and gives no increase in feet per second. So I'm leaving this backed out. Um, if I use a lighter spring, I might even gain more because a lighter, remember it depends on how much pressure the bottle is putting out. This one is putting out 1350. So how much pressure is pushing on the pin in the valve also needs to be offset by the power of the spring. So the lighter the bottle, the lighter the spring. Now the spring I had in here was once used for 1600 output on the bottle. So it was a good match, it was a good fit. But this 0.38 wire gauge spring is a bit too strong for a 1350 output bottle. So when you go down on the bottle output from 1600 to 1350 PSI, you also should go down on your spring because it doesn't need to hit as hard in order to get that air out. So I found that backing it out, for, I'm not gonna open it up again and go through it. Maybe maybe another time I'll use a lighter spring. If I, if I come up with a discovery, then I'll let you know. But okay, starting with a 14.3 Crossman Premier. Seven fifty nine, seven seventy four, seven seventy, seven seventy. Okay, so it's a little more powerful. I gained a little bit in FPS. All right, next let's try the eighteen grain JSB. 18 grain J 714 shot JSB for 18 713 Third shot 
711. Let's go with a really heavy Eugen. Wow, these are big. Eugen 28 and a half, 28 and a half grain. Wow, 600. It's a big pellet. 594. Next up, the JSB 25.43 grain. Another big pellet. 623. Six twenty seven more. Wow, these big ones are hard to load. There we go. Six twenty six twenty eight. Okay. Let's go with the twenty twenty one grain. Twenty one grain H and N match. 686, rough. 676. Now the gun is regulated, the bottle is regulated. 676, all right. And let's go with the 12 grain hollow point. 12 grain, 793. Seven eighty five. One last time. Seven eighty six. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, shot six different types of pellets from very heavy to very light. Um, I'll put a little summary of the of the speeds. Um, but it's a pretty nice shooter. So it's a pretty nice gun. And uh, this was just a test of the power, not the accuracy. I'm just shooting blind through the crony. Um, what I'll do is I'll do a little accuracy test at 45 feet, and we'll see how good this gun is. It's only a 14 and a half inch barrel. Should be enough to be somewhat accurate. Now you know these are these are not Lothar Walther or CZ barrels, so they're uh, I don't expect them to be that uh, accurate, but should create some nice grouping. So we'll see. There is a five shot group at, <laughs> at 45. That's pretty damn good. So when I started this project, uh, I never thought this gun would actually come out as good as it did as far as uh, shooting, uh, accuracy, power. Uh, this was really just something I had a bunch of spare parts lying around. So I said, let me build this third gun. And then I took it a little further, adding the breech, uh, adding the stock. And uh, I'm actually glad I did because at first this gun I uh, wasn't shooting uh, powerful enough in my opinion. I, I, at first it was like 720 uh, feet per second and finally we got it up to about, it, it does shoot somewhere around 780, even a little higher at times, depends. That's again with the 1350 bottle. Um, recently I was having a problem while I was making this video with this shroud that I had made, this 12 inch shroud. The pellets at point at some points were kind of flying and I wasn't sure if it was the barrel or the shroud so I took the shroud off and I shot the 14 and a half inch barrel and it was really accurate I wasn't having a problem so I realized that the front of the 
the cap on the front that I drilled wasn't big enough. So for some reason, it wasn't either round enough or big enough. It was throwing the pellets off as it would exit the shroud. So it would come out the barrel here, pass through the washers or baffles, and then come out at the end and it was getting, either it was just barely touching or the airflow wasn't right, something wasn't right. But anyway, I corrected that, I filed it, got it nice and round, a little bit bigger. Uh, it's still quiet and it's shooting very accurate as you just saw from those three five, uh, five shot groupings. Um, I'd like to try this out to farther distances, but I have to say, so originally it was a $267 gun. Now we're at 315 because we've added the breech, the steel breech. And it's worth it. It is really worth it. Um, I have to say this is definitely, uh, uh, it, it has beat my expectations as far as power accuracy and whole overall feel. It is a very nice feeling gun. It is a little forward heavy, uh, but it is a very, very nice feeling gun. Trigger's really nice. Um, I did a little bit of polishing on you know, the trigger parts on the, on the hammer. Uh, just took a Dremel with a uh, polishing pad and uh, this is quite the gun. Thanks for watching.